While startups in London clustered particularly around the Shoreditch Old Street area, uh, they spread all across the city. Here in South London, in Bermondsey, in an old biscuit factory, there's a startup called Packed Coffee. They're trying to become something like the Zappos for coffee. So we're going to check out their office and see what they're up to. Hey Mike, how's it going? Nice Thanks to see you. Thanks very much for having us. Okay, pleasure. So, so how long have you been here? Uh, packed. We moved in here about six months ago. So we were in my kitchen until 18 months ago. Me by myself. Had a little office over there, a uh, couple, couple of metres away. And uh, now you're in this amazing space. Yeah. Let's have a check out upstairs. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, this was part of an old biscuit factory. Yeah, that's right. It was called Peak Freens. Huge. Um, company in the UK yeah. uh, they invented some famous biscuits when, like when the were they, When were they around? Uh, they went bust I think in the mid 80s up top here this is our community team. Mm -hmm. So these guys um, I mean do the sort of custom service tickets, social media and so on. You've got this sort of a uh, walkway I mean yeah. you, could, you could put on a show up here. Yeah absolutely well we, we organise quite a lot of events here uh, both for our customers and some com sort of uh, industry events as well. Yeah. It's a brilliant space just for, for hosting that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and it, well, this is uh, your office, is it? Yeah, well, so this is the quiet carriage. Uh, this is the place in the office where people come if uh, they're working on stuff they can't be disturbed. So, strictly speaking, no talking. We'll make an exception for you. Okay, I apologise in advance. <laughs> tell, me no what, tell me about what's going on up here. Well, so we, um, as a business, we, we sell coffee. Uh, these are the sacks that we imported, our first bags of green coffee in. Uh, so these came from uh, all over the world. So it's imported to the country about 70 kilos in each bag. It's imported green mm. and we roast it over here. What, what's really exciting is we've just started. You know, once, once we hit a certain scale, we could actually go to origin and start importing directly from farmers ourselves. You want, uh, to, go, you want to own the whole thing from end to end? It's not to do with ownership. We, I think um, as a business, you know that you can, the only way you can know that you're, you're upholding the highest possible ethical standards in sourcing is by doing deals right. directly yourself. We've got a rule, we won't pay less than 125% of the fair trade rate for our coffee. Yeah. Working with a, an importer, you just can't guarantee that because obviously they don't tell you what they're paying. <laughs> What I like is you've got a little bit of kitchen area here. Yeah, that's you've right. Got, so uh, this this is a really important piece of kit. This is Betty. Um, bought her on eBay. Yeah. 400 quid. Betty. And for the first six months of packed of our life, me and Betty were in my kitchen, uh, grinding coffee, labelling bags by hand. Uh, she she ground the first certainly the first thousand bags in my kitchen, and then probably the five thousand that followed. But amazing. She's an old lady, so um, this represents each of our types of customers. We make sure that every customer gets the right coffee for them and in part we do that by pairing coffee and grind types for brewing methods. So you've got the espresso kitchen here, black, sleek, modern, uh, right. cafetiere. Uh, we find this is a slightly older demographic. Um, like, yeah, More traditional just, style. Exactly right, yeah. Whole bean in the corner, which is why you know, our, our trusty grinder is there. An AeroPress filter and stove top. Basically mapped out your, your various customers. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what's this? this is the most important wall in the office. These are our operating principles. Um, these are put up on the most visible wall in the whole office. The value of having this on the wall for me as a founder has been enormous because I find that 50% of the questions that I'm asked by people on the team can be answered by pointing at this wall just, and not right. using words. <laughs> it's like, just, That's you know what to do. <laughs> this is a real hammock. Before Pact was a um, I'm not sure if I can get circus. in there. I you can have can a go. She was a circus trainer, so her specialty is was aer work? aerial silks. I don't know, careful. Marvellous. There we go. Her specialty was aerial silks. Well, this is one well, of her uh, silks. And we set it up as a... Uh, well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the way you actually pack the coffee up mm. uh, is just around the corner. Yeah, yeah, well, let's go and have a look. After. The grind house. Um, so yeah, for, I'll, I'll, I'll talk you through a, a bag of coffee. Yeah. A shipment of coffee comes in four times a week. We've got okay. a seven-day freshness rule. We'll never sell a bag of coffee that, that was roasted more than seven days ago. We'll give it away. I mean, Bermondsey, this area we're in, is the food and beverage startup capital, yeah. uh, probably of Europe. So we've got phenomenal local gin distilleries. We swap with them. Uh, microbreweries, craft breweries. We've got Colonel, Fall, Pure, a ton of others. There's a 
uh, indoor climbing centre literally just next door. So we supply all of their coffee uh, and they let us climb for free. So we tend to just barter it. We're with bartering. Delicious. To barter economy. Economy. <laughs> Who needs Bitcoin? Yeah. This is our, our biggest grinder. This is one of four that we've got. This is a beast. Uh, yeah. Phenomenally German piece of kit. Mm -hmm. Give that a go. Amazing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feel the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel the engineering. Yeah, yeah. My favourite uh, story about this room is here, right here. There was a time not that long ago when every time we sold a bag of coffee, we logged into our back end, we captured a payment from a customer, we marked it as shipped, we pinged them an email. Uh, it took probably a minute to ship a bag of yeah. coffee, a minute of computer work, and a guy, Stefan was asked to spend a day in here. He, he left after two hours. I think his words were, dude, this is bullshit. <laughs> and, just, <laughs> and just left. Came in the following day with these Raspberry Pis. Barcodes were appearing on the bags. As that gets scanned, yeah. we capture payment, email them, queue up their next order, ask them for a review, tell Royal Mail it's coming, we get billed. Just everything done. This is all run by on Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi. Of course, Amazing. the mighty, mighty Raspberry Pi. Yeah. Incredible. That is a good cup of coffee. Stephen, it's been fantastic Thanks uh, that much. you've shown us around Pat Coffee. Cheers. Thank you for coming. Cheers.